this article comes from the Motley Fool. Warren Buffett loves these stocks. What stocks does he love? Stocks that pay a dividend. And that is his secret source to his wealth. One of the stocks that they mention is Occidental Petroleum. Buffett's first foray into Occidental came via preferred share purchase in the spring of 2019 when he invested $10 billion, which paid an 8% yield. This capital injection was tied to Occidental's acquisition of Anadarko Petroleum, which turned into a bidding war at the time. As a result of this transaction, Buffett received 80 million warrants, or 84 million shares, which could be converted into Oxy shares at the time over the next eight years at an excise price of $59.62. However, Buffett has since beefed up his stake in Occidental by purchasing an additional almost 200 million shares um, since early 2022. Now, again, Berkshire has that 10 billion preferred share investment uh, from the Anadonko and a DACO deal that's earning him 8% that's generating him 800 million dollars on an annual income basis you add in the dividend income from just the Occidental side together that's going to give him roughly a billion dollars of cash and passive income in the form of dividends that's his secret source now, let's go to the charts for Occidental. Now, energy in 2022 was the best performing sector by far. Um, it has since pulled back, but I think energy is the new uh, water, scarce asset. And so I think the pullback is an opportunity to get long. All right, so let's look at the stock on the monthly chart. Again, it's pulling back from its recent all-time highs at, in 2022 of $77.31. This is an area that I'm looking at. Which I'm going to say is the candle in control. It's also the candle that's, that equates to the line in the sand. And what I mean by that is that if price breaches this candle here, there are no buyers down to $30. Let's go to the weekly chart. So line in the sand, right? Price increases from this zone, pulls back, right? Line in the sand, pops again, comes back line in the sand pops again comes back couldn't hit the zone pops again so the question is if price comes back to the line in the sand is will we see another pop so we're gonna say we're gonna make fifty four dollars as the line in the sand. Now, what I was saying is that if this zone is breached, this is the weekly candle. This candle went straight up, meaning 
there are no buyers anywhere between say 50 and 40 so if we breach this price is going down to 40 let's go down to the daily chart just to see alright so you have a gap in price at 44 this will be an area where price would bounce at a rally you have some basing candles and another rally out uh, volume was good so we'll just mark that there okay let's go back to the monthly chart I'm anticipating that if price comes back to this area we're gonna get another bounce if we happen to breach that zone this is 48 I would expect a brief bounce before moving further down So I'm going to pay attention to this Occidental over the coming months to see how price action transpires. Until next time.